All right, we're going to take a look at the Cleveland Browns' newest Mike linebacker, Anthony Walker Jr., come from the Indianapolis Colts. You see the Indianapolis newspaper here, the Indy Star. Uh, Ballard is the GM of the Colts. He says, I've got a special relationship with Anthony Walker. He describes him as a selfless team guy, rare leader. I hope he gets into coaching or scouting one day. Mark my words, Anthony Walker, if he gets into coaching, will be a head coach in the National Football League someday. And if he gets into scouting, will be a general manager. He's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. And he's made of the right stuff. From the same article in the Indy Star, uh, Darius Leonard, the all-pro linebacker for the Colts, come out, I think, the, the same year as Walker did. And he says, well, I'm about to cry, Leonard tweeted just after the news broke. Crazy to see such an amazing person, leader, player, and friend leave a locker room. Amazing player, man. He does everything the right way. It sucks that he's leaving, but Cleveland is gaining a dog. He's a great leader, and he's going to lead your defense to be great. I true, I will truly miss him. I give him a lot of credit. He says, I give him a lot of credit for my success, exclamation point. I wouldn't be me without him. Even crazier than that, Darius Leonard, after making that big uh, social media proclamation about, you know, how, how much Walker helped him, how much he made him a better player, helped him with study habits. He actually went on to make a tribute video of him. I mean, this is stuff you just never see when guys leave. Hey, Walk, my brother, my partner in crime, my friend, my teammate. First of all, let me say congratulations on this new journey that you're about to walk with the Cleveland Browns. I know personally, man, I've been playing alongside with you for three years, and every year has been nothing but great things. And I know that when you go to the Cleveland Browns and play, man, I, I know you're going to ball out because I know you as a ball player, I know you as a person, I know what type of standards that you hold yourself up to. And I know that I'm going to miss you, bro. And I just like to thank you for absolutely everything. I wouldn't be who I am without you. I know, you know, the, the film study. Uh, the note switching, you know, all that stuff, man. I, I won't be who I am with, without you. I mean, you're by far one of the smartest middle linebackers that I've ever played with. I mean, you're so smart on the field, off the field. And, you know, it sucks that this thing called football is going to separate us, too. Um, man, I just I just hope one day, man, we can hopefully play play against the same team so you know, I, can, I can steal your notes, you know. Here's some, here's some other, here's some other uh, cues from you, so... You know, I'm just looking forward to your, your success and your future endeavors, man. I wish you nothing but success. Uh, I know I'm going to miss you in the locker room, in the meetings, and on the field. You know, game day is not going to be the same. Me waiting for you or going out there on the field together. All right, as you can see here, Anthony Walker Jr., he's the son of a football coach. He was very, very good kid. He came to live with me when he was two years old. Um, and it was just me and him for a very long time. I was a former coach, so he was always traveling with me. He started, you know, watching film with me when he was like seven. Um, so he's breaking down film, and I was the offensive coordinator here, and he knew the offense when he was like nine. So guys out there asking him what, what's, what route they should run, because <laughs> he knew it already. This guy supposedly had a 4.7 GPA. I thought they only were supposed to go to 4.0, but what do I know about GPAs? Just to give you a little example of his high school career. He was in the class of 2013, graduated top 10% in his class with a 4.7 GPA. So please don't tell me about that no jocks anymore, okay? All right, you see Walker here. This is, uh, he's got 40, he's got 71. Um, you know, right here, he looks like he ain't going to be able to do much. Watch him knife inside a 71 and take 24 down with one hand. All right, you see Mahomes here. Mahomes fakes the screen. Walker doesn't bite, keeps his eyes focused. You see uh, McCole Hardman coming around on a reverse, 
and Walker's going to sustain the edge in this play. This is going to be a six-yard loss. So there's Walker just forcing it out, forcing it out. Uh, Hardman, as fast as he is, he doesn't, he can't get the edge here, so he's got to try to uh, make a move inside. He does a nice job there making Jabal Sherrod miss. But Walker's going to be there to clean it up. All right, we're going to watch a little Anthony Walker against the Browns. This was from this past season here. Uh, the Browns and Colts played this regular season. You see him come up and stuff the run there. He's going to get an interception here, but this is really because Jedrick Wills gets beat bad by Justin Houston. Watch Houston get inside and hit Baker, and there is the interception. Um, really, that was... That play was made, look at Baker on the ground in agony. That play was made by Jedrick Wills getting beat by Justin Houston. Justin Houston forced an interception. Watching it one more time, he's got Wills over here on the edge. Right now, Baker's got Landry, but he's got to wait for Landry to come across and clear uh, the Mike linebacker here, which is our guy, Walker. So he's got to get around Walker, and he's probably going to try to hit him over here, uh, but the blocking doesn't hold up. Uh, Houston gets inside of uh, – see he's throwing right here. Landry's almost there. This ball is going to be over, over here if he doesn't get hit. Uh, but, you know, Jed's a rookie. Uh, Houston's an old pro. That was an interception really by Houston, but – I mean, still the ball came to him. He caught it. He made sure he caught it, went to the ground, um, got up, did what he could with it. 